Well, it's January 8th, 2024, and this is one of my favorite spots to, um, to find a dipper, a little bird, American dipper, but I don't see one here today. Uh, I do see uh, mink tracks right there, but no dipper. So we'll go ahead and try to do the market memo, assuming that this wind doesn't make it audio too bad. On the other side of the bridge, you can see these fox tracks. But we'll go ahead and do the numbers here. So January 8th, 2024, it's a beautiful day. You can see the clear sky, a little nippy out, especially since the heater went out in my Jeep today. Well, I'll have to figure something out about that. But here we go. Here are the numbers for the week. You can see 30 new listings came on the market. The first week of the year, people said, hey, I'm putting my house back on the market. A lot of them expired last week. 21 petted this past week. That's pretty impressive, actually, for this time of year. 21 houses went under contract. And you can see that some of those have been on the market a while. 13 closed, and that's pretty normal because, you know, a lot of the title people were out of town. And right now we have 262 houses on the market. I think that's pretty close to what we had last week. Uh, I anticipate that should start going up as we go into spring. 127 days total on the market for the everything out there. I'm going to take a look at some numbers, see how we compare to what's going on nationally. Hopefully uh, I can find them. And I'll get this out to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, go to valleymarket.com, click on the contact tab, and call somebody at Valley Market. They'll help you out. Talk to you later. Bye.